anything to update y'all on. Well, no. I got a pa I, I passed my test today. I got a hundred. I don't think I ever mentioned that. <laughs> I passed. <laughs> she got a ninety-six. Like, it's not bland. So, yeah. I mean, everything else today. I think y'all have pretty much seen. We did fire. We jumped down you, the slide. You, record, you recorded that? You were recording. Mm-hmm. I recorded everybody. <laughs> Including Fernando. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that was really the day. Like, we started the class off with our KV. Everybody passed. Even Chan with his old annoying self. <sighs> he be stressing me out with these tests, y'all. He goes through the whole test. And then goes back through the whole test back and then changes like 50 times. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So the whole class be done and you, we have to leave the classroom. We'd be sitting there for another 30 minutes. They give us an hour to take the test. 50 multiple choice question test. They give us a whole hour to take it. He uses the entire hour. So we'd be stressed thinking he failed. <sighs> but anyways. <laughs> that's just what happens when you get in these classrooms and... I was telling somebody it's kind of like being in Big Brother like you're even though we're not stuck but a lot of people are from out of town and they don't really know anybody here and so you really just gain very quick and close friendships and connections with your classmates so Chan be stressing me out he's from the Philippines and he be stressing me out but he passed so I'm very happy about that then we learned how to do evacuations on the E-175 aircraft. I think that's gonna be easy peasy. Um, we put the fire out, which the fire was so weak, but whatever, <laughs> we put it out. Yeah, ate lunch, did a lot of CVTs, and then we went and jumped this slide. And was done with class. And we got a new instructor. We got another new, well, I think, yeah, but. She was new. She was new. She was, she, yeah. We've had quite a few. The other portion of our class has, I think they've just had the same three instructors on rotation and they keep throwing us new ones. But as long as I'm learning and passing, I, look, I am, I'm not going to complain. <sighs> anyway, so it's 317. We've been at, we've been in school since six o'clock this morning, <laughs> y'all. I am done. I've been ready to get back in this bed since I got out of the bed at four o'clock this morning. So. I'm going to sleep. Tomorrow's our off day. I think I mentioned that. And I feel like I could sleep from to, from right now, 3.17 p.m. till tomorrow night. So, good night. See y'all tomorrow. The end of day 17. Good, good morning. morning. It's Saturday, July 27th. What time do y'all wake up on a Saturday in the lovely summer, summer month of July? Is it 5 a.m.? Because that's definitely what time I woke up this morning. <sighs> Anyways, y'all, this is the last week. I'm trying to block that light. This is the last week <laughs> of classes. So we have a lot to do this week, a lot to learn. I feel like they just kind of jam-packed this last week. So we have an evaluation today, a PV today on somebody's door. Um, I think we're learning medical. We're learning, well... I don't know. We have a lot of other PVs this week and then one more final um, test and then we go into our EMEs and then starting next week, Thursday, or no, yeah, Thursday, no, the second, Friday, we'll do our IOEs, which could be four days, and then we graduate. It went by just like that. So, I'm about to head downstairs. Bus comes at 6.30. They've started serving breakfast, so I'm gonna go try to feed myself something before I'm miserable all day long. See y'all later. Hey guys. E easiest PV of them all. Easy peasy kilted the whole class in 38 minutes. And 10 of us. Mm, it's one, it's 208. Less than that. Cause we was down there at 135. So 30 minutes really. And we're done. So we're really done. We've chopped off 
two extra hours for the day and then they added in the hour something so now we have one spare hour and they're gonna talk to us about something and hopefully we can go home hey guys welcome to the end of day 20 is this day 20 <laughs> i want to say this is day i think it's day 20 and i just want to start this night day whatever portion of the vlog off and say some of your classmates will annoy you <laughs> And I'm just going to leave it at that. Ooh, these shoes. Yeah, you know, it's just when you put a, a group of 40 whatever people together and ages range from, I think we, we started at 19 to who was the oldest sitting at 56, 58, something like that. You're going to have a lot of clashing. Um, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. I'm still passing everything with flying colors you know all of that um what did we do today we started off with oh medical finally we learned cpr and choking and how to use the aed yeah um so that's what my eme is over i'm on the embryo 140 145 the 145 really because that's what the uh the little plane is the cabin turner and yeah so we did that i'm feeling semi-confident about it emes really are they kind of do put like a little bit of pressure on you because you just don't know what to expect but if you know your procedures and what to do then just, fucking read. just do it and get some feedback and that's it you know like that's it just give it all i got guys it's all i can do um Word on the street is we lost another person from the other portion of our class, the A class. I'm in B. Remember, I told y'all we're split into two. So, word on the street is we lost a person from the A portion of the class today for doing things that aren't um, unethical. And, yeah. Don't do unethical things. A.K.A. cheat on the test. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> that's That's... We spent two hours in class today, um, um, being very unproductive. Doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Brittany says doing absolutely nothing, and that is absolutely true. <laughs> yeah, we really would have had three hours of absolutely nothing today, because we just, first of all, we knocked out the first, the first lecture today over medical in two hours. It was blocked for three hours, right? So then that other hour, they came in and did another lecture on something that we were supposed to be doing on Tuesday. So they used that hour up. So cool, fine. It was enjoyable. And then we went to lunch for an hour. Then we came back and did our procedural validations on the ERJ-175 evacuations. Um, I think that was blocked for two hours. And then we had our, no, we had our medical... Oh yeah, my bad. We So after lunch, we had our medical workshop. So the first thing was the medical, medical, whatever they, lecture. lecture, then lunch, and then medical workshop was blocked for, I think, another three hours. And we finished that maybe like an hour and a half, maybe. So then we had a 15 minute break. Then we started our PVs. And that was blocked for two hours. We finished that literally in like 32 minutes. Uh, just because we, we was rocking and rolling today. So after that, we there was nothing else. The teachers were like, well, we could start this lecture, but they think that's going to confuse us or confuse other folks. Oh, they know their audience. They learn it. <sighs> because some people have to actually do their EMEs tomorrow. Um, I don't do mine until Wednesday only because... I have medical, and like I, we didn't learn medical until today. So people that have boarding with uh, extended delay on the tarmac, that's an uh, uh, a EME decompression and security. I think will be going and doing their EMEs tomorrow, and then later on the week, the rest of us will do ours. Um, so yeah, two hours. I guess they have this van schedule and they requested one move up time and couldn't get another move up time. So we literally sat there for two hours just kind of 
chit chatting about some stuff about class, some stuff not. Some people was playing heads up, seven up, seven up, thumbs up, whatever the game is called. Some people were watching movies. <laughs> some people were doing homework, you know, like yeah, so it was actually just an easy day. And I think we really needed that. It would just been good if we could have left when we were done instead of um, sitting because right now it's 457 so we could have been here two hours ago <sighs> but that's it y'all I mean I might take me a little snoozer we got class tomorrow 6 o'clock van 630 630 van oh, that was what we had today huh yeah oh uh, yeah yeah so you know it sucks to be losing people this close to we literally have what how many more class days Today's Saturday, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, when we have four more class days. Sucks to be them. And you mess your own way up out of this. Like, just take the test. Have some kahunas. Isn't that how you say balls in Spanish? I don't even know. <laughs> if it's not, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. That's it, y'all. We took a little group picture today. Um, that's all I got. That's it. I'm about to finish watching this movie and maybe take a little snoozer. See y'all tomorrow. Oh, and I still haven't got my IOE schedule yet, and I really want to know where I'm going so I can pack, or at least go wash. Well, I don't need nothing. I don't. I. I don't. I'm not going nowhere on the little. I'm not doing. I don't need nothing. My pen. Okay. Day 20. What are we doing today? Sitting on the aircraft from seven to 11.30 watching people do their EMEs. We have to watch because that is how FAA approved us being qualified, I guess. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So we have to watch everybody do theirs. Then we have breakfast slash breakfast slash lunch. Why does it say that? Which one are they feeding me? Lunch or breakfast? Brunch, baby. <laughs> 11 to 2 30 and then we have a three and a half hour workshop on ditching principles i mean a salad or something a salad without salad you mean just some greens some lettuce just some lettuce that's little iceberg iceberg lettuce shoot anyways y'all that's all she wrote for today hello good people guess what time it is it's 2.45. Can y'all believe it? And I'm putting my earrings back on just to talk to y'all because I hate being earringless. Um, we were supposed to get out of class today at 4 o'clock. And we got out at 2.15. I don't know what is happening. The tides are turning. Um, but yes. Today was productive. I got my IOE schedule. Where am I going? So we're doing four days worth of IOE. IOE stands for Initial Operating Experience, right? Uh, I think so. And uh, the schedule. So I go to DFW to GRK. I don't remember what GRK was. What is GRK? I know none of these city codes, like none. And luckily we don't have to know them by heart. Thank you, Jesus. Because I would just be so lost and confused. GRK. GRK Airport. Let me tell y'all where I'm going. Just in case y'all want to come find me. But y'all can't really come find me because this won't be up until way after the fact. Colleen. Colleen, Texas. So I do a turn. DFW to Colleen. Colleen back to DFW. Then I go from DFW to Lake Charles and Lake Charles back to DFW. So I do, that's a four leg day, two turns. Then I come back to Dallas, like I said, and I probably come right back to this hotel. And then the next day I deadhead from Dallas to, I was about to say Orlando again, not Orlando, Dallas to Chicago O'Hare. And then I do a Omaha turn and then I spend the night in Chicago. I, how many hours I have? I have 19 hours in Chicago. She'll call my sister and let her know I'm coming. Um, and then the next day, 
I do Chicago to Omaha again, but I have a overnight in Omaha for 17 hours. What is in Omaha? Because I'm pretty sure I might end up there again. <laughs> and I don't know what's there. And then the next day, clearly I leave Omaha, go back to Chicago, and then I do a... Um, what is CVG? Ah, fixed it! Had to erase some stuff off the SD card because I didn't bring any more with me. So anyways, back to Brittany. Brittany, where are you going? So on day one... I um, have one, two, three, and a four leg. I will be going from DFW to San Angelo. San Angelo, Texas? Yeah. Where is that at? I have no idea. Yes, I'm from Texas, but I have no idea where that is. So I'm and your then business. It's, a, it's a turn trip, so I go back from San Angelo to DFW. And I do DFW to Laredo. Laredo, Texas? Laredo, Texas. This is why I'm glad I'm getting up out of my base with DFW. Then back right up to DFW. Um, day two, I'm doing Dallas to Chicago. A deadhead. Yes. Then Chicago to Rochester, New York. Oh, Rochester. Mm -hmm. Well, we oh. got our IOEs, y'all. And then we did ditching principles, and that was it. That was we it. was we was done with the day. It was. And we had pizza for lunch, so I can't complain. And it was good. And it was good from Boston's out here in, in the DFW area. So, it was cute. Nice little day. We're about to watch um, the new season of Orange is the New Black. Or the last season. The series finale, I should say. And yeah, just kind of chill out for the rest of the day. See y'all later. Good morning, good people. It is day 21. Schedule change. Yes, Monday, July 29th, day 21. We're doing Elevate. Anyways, woke up early and laid in bed for way too long. So I had to take my breakfast to go. I got bacon, grapes, frosted flakes, and French toast. And they change our seats around, so the class is kind of sad. But it's literally just three more days in the classroom, kind of, sort of. And we'll be all right. Huh? Yes, it's, it's been a long 29 days so far, or 21 days. It does. It's because we're here all the time. All the time. Anyways, have a great day. Here we go. Gathered here. Hello, good people. It is. My head is itching. My head been itching all day. I just think I'm just tired. <laughs> My non-compliant shoes. I wore them today. Still trying to break them in. Um. Today is day 21. We have Tuesday to go and Wednesday to go of class days. Hallelujah. Like, people are really like, we are all just. We're over it. Over it. I, I can't think of a better phrase, honestly. Every, like, everybody is acting themselves. You know, there's no more putting on a face for people. Like, we're, it's really like family. It's like brothers and sisters just telling each other to shut the hell up in class. <laughs> Minus the hell. But that's literally what it feels like, y'all. Like, somebody say something stupid. <laughs> one, one girl, <laughs> the instructor literally said, literally, y'all, said something. One second. The next second the non-listening girl says well what if questioning exactly what he just said everybody goes <laughs> can i say that to the people sorry like oh <laughs> we was all like he just said that like, then she admits oh, oh i wasn't, I wasn't listening here I go, well you need to like bruh <laughs> we all 
already an hour and a half behind. No, two hours behind. Two hours. Two hours and 25 minutes behind two hours today. Up. We were supposed to start. We got our um, devices today. Um, what a device. <sighs> Okay. Yeah. Got our little devices today. Um just a little phone. This is our flight attendant tablet. It's a Samsung Note 5. So we got this crap today. And we were supposed to start having our training on it at 2:30. Y'all. We didn't start training on this device till 4.30, almost 5 o'clock today. <sighs> it was just a long day. But for one, I passed my medical PV. We had to do, um, a, we had to do, um, we had to do CPR on an adult. And with the AED, CPR on a baby. And then we had to, um, save a choking baby. So I did those three flawlessly as always. I even got the announcement down. We had to memorize the stupid announcement and I didn't know it like 10 minutes prior to the dang on PV, but I learned it. <sighs> My brain is tired, y'all. This, I say it all the time. Training is fast paced and intense. Boom, 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 boom. So tomorrow we have our final um procedure validation on how to operate certain emergency equipment things that you actually have to operate like a pob pve halons flashlights click the button turn it on um we have to do that tomorrow and then we also have our final knowledge validation test 50 questions over general emergency so it's going to be asking questions on how we pre-flight our emergency equipment and other things that have to do with first aid and medical. So tonight for the few remaining hours that I'll be up, it's 6.21 right now, PM. Um, I'll read my IPM, I'll study just to make sure, you know, I, I know what I think I know and yeah, that was it. One of my instructors was so nice, y'all. Look what she gave me. <laughs> she gave me a Walmart bag. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, just whatever. I'm going to end up washing all of this anyway. Not because she's not a clean person, just because you should wash clothes when you receive them. She gave me a, a, a shirt. A button up shirt. Why does this one look different? Oh, this one is different. Non-breakable buttons. I need to try this one on. She gave me a uniform white shirt, which I know it's, this makes my sixth white shirt, but the more the merrier. I have a positive attitude about it. She, I think I was telling y'all I wanted another dress. So she gave me another dress. It looks really big and it, it is kind of big. Um, so I'll probably end up getting it taken in and then she gave me a skirt this so I don't know what I told y'all but just let me this <laughs> my brain there are two different styles of the uniform that we could choose from these pieces are the original style and then they had a modified version because there were issues with the original one, right? So I have the modified version. That is what I ordered when we did our uniform ordering. My very nice instructor gave me these pieces and these are from the original. And I can still wear them because it's, it's still within uniform, but I can only wear original pieces with original pieces and modified pieces with modified pieces. So I can't mix and match. So all I really have left to do, I mean, I can wear this skirt this white shirt together I, and the scarf but I still need an overlaying piece according to our uniform policy which is the blue cardigan um, and I have to find one of those 
So as soon as I find one of those, that gives me an extra piece to wear. Oh, and I also already have this same exact dress. I know I'm kind of probably confusing y'all, but I'm still able to get, even with my modified pieces, I'm still able to get this dress from the original uniform. I don't know why, but I did. I got it. That's all I know. Whew! I'm tired. Brittany in the shower, like, we're ready to go to bed. I'm ready to pop my melatonin, but I'm not going to do that yet because it's only 6.24. Still need, I'm not even really hungry, but I'm going to go downstairs, eat dinner, Study, like I said, we have class tomorrow at 8 o'clock again. Um, I really should go to the gym because my legs today were just feeling dead. Like, I need to get my circulation going. Like, this training, I think I've been to the gym maybe four or five times since I've been here, and that's not good. I usually work out four to five times a week, and this is day 31. I mean, 31, 21. So, been here three weeks, and I've only worked out five times. Horrible, and I'm sure I've gained like 10 pounds eating all the crap that they feed us. It's... Whatever. Did I tell y'all um, about my living situation? I got that figured out. I don't know if I did. If I did tell y'all, I'm going to just edit this out so it's not just a whole bunch of me repeating myself. Um, but if you've been watching my vlogs for a long time, you know I have family or at least you know I have a sister and nieces and nephew that live in the Chicago area um, and I have more family that lives there yay on my daddy's side so I called one of my cousins and she says she lives 15 minutes from the airport driving and like 40 minutes um, via I guess train transportation or whatever it is you know them, them subway lines and stuff um, so I asked her because I do still have it in my mind that I'm gonna be able to transfer out you know, hopefully starting October, I can be based in DFW, is the thought that I have in my mind. So I just asked her, you know, if I can stay with her, sleep on her couch with her. She's like, oh yeah, I have extra bedroom. I was like, oh, that's perfect. So that's going to be my crash pad situation, hopefully not for too long. Throw, you know, throw $100, $200 or so, because I'm not really going to be there a lot, but you know, I'm not no bum either. Um... And yeah, so I'm really glad that I got that struggle taken care of because today in class during our massive downtime, um, a lot of people were kind of looking for crash pads and there's nothing available out there. Like they have a lot of um, hotel crash pads out there and don't ask me how that really works. I'm not sure. Um, but there's, if you go on Facebook, there's, and search Hotel Crash Pad Network, um, that's a specific, a specific one, and this gentleman has contracts with different hotels, um, around the nation, different, multiple cities, and it seems like he rents out a room or two out of the hotel, actually turns it into a crash pad, um, but you still get all the amenities of the hotel, so you still get the free shuttle to and from the airport, so that cuts out all the transportation that you would have to pay, taking Uber or train or whatever. Um, I guess they change the sheets, the free breakfast, whatever. Um, but I'm bringing that up because, you know, I, all of those rooms are full, and it doesn't, I don't, I mean, I'm not just, I'm really not seeing a lot of crash pads out there. So people seem to be having a little bit of trouble finding um, crash pads and by golly geez, wow, it's the 29th, August 1st will be here in no time. And you know, usually that's when people kind of are moving in and out of crash pads. So good luck to them. Thank you know, God is on my side because when I went to New York, I was able to stay with family until I got my apartment and now I'm able to stay with family again. So. <sighs> I shall not complain. I shall not complain, y'all. Um, but yeah, can y'all believe, like, literally, we just have two more class days left. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, then we have Thursday off, and then Friday, we start our IOEs, and I know I went over that with y'all yesterday, where, to where I'm going and stuff, so I'll be flying the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th, um, and then the 6th, we have, um, 
will be back at the training center and I believe our union is coming to talk to us. I think scheduling is coming to talk to us. Um, all of those things, but we're no longer learning anything that's aircraft related. Um, but it is a full classroom day to sit down and talk. And then on the 7th is graduation day and we are out this piece. We get three days off, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. I guess, or what, I don't know. We have to report to um, base orientation in Chicago on the 12th, August 12th. So, it's winding down. Let's go fly. Yay. Anyways, I'm tired, I'm, I'm tired of talking too. So, see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>